In this video, we're going to show how users who are using the conditional object in a freeform report can implement the same uh, functionality in a layout table report. So if you look at this uh, very simple report that we have uh, over here, which is based on the customer table from Alpha Sports, you can see that in the details section, we've got um, um, first name, last name, and then ship same, which is a logical field that indicates whether the shipping address for this customer is the same as the billing address or has been separately specified. And in order to print out the actual address uh, that the, that should be used for a particular customer, we've used a conditional object. So the uh, conditional object is one of the objects on the uh, toolbox, and the way the conditional object works is you um, click over here and then you can go to properties and then you can define um, as many different properties as you want and then each property which is a logical condition uh, creates a new pane on the conditional object and then at runtime depending on which condition is true the corresponding pane uh, prints so you can see here we're looking at the uh, pane for the billing address but if we switch now to the shipping address pane you can see now it says use shipping address and then the shipping address fields are shown over here. So when we go ahead now and we preview this report here, we can see that for this first record, the billing address uh, and the shipping address are the same. So you can see that the, um, the pane of the uh, conditional object for uh, the billing address condition is the pane that prints. Then for this next record, the shipping address <coughs> Uh, the, the, the logical field is false, therefore we're printing out the uh, shipping address over here. Now the addresses themselves are not nicely formatted because we haven't gone to the trouble of making a calc field that would suppress uh, trailing spaces, etc. But the point is that what we're trying to show here is the principle of how the conditional object works in a uh, freeform report. So next we're going to go and show how we can implement this exact same functionality in a layout table report. So let's uh, exit now from our preview. Let's go ahead now and save this away. And now let's go and create a new uh, uh, report based on the customer table. But this time we'll start with a uh, layout table um, report editor. And now let's go to our um, drag and drop list over here, which I'm going to just um, move onto the screen. Let me just uh, resize my alpha size window a little bit. So I want um, customer ID, first name, last name, and then I also want the um, ship same field, um, which is over there. Oops, sorry, let's go and do that again. So uh, control, control, and then ship same, and then drag these onto the layout table all the way to the very beginning. So that's going to create basically um, the columns in my layout table report. So let's just make these just a little bit um, smaller. And now let's uh, save this and call it uh, cust layout table conditional and then quickly go ahead and uh, uh, preview it. So we can see there's our layout table report at this point and um, it's not very pretty but uh, the point is that it's showing the value of the um, logical field now. So now we want to go and add a new column to the layout report that has the conditional object which displays either the billing address or the shipping address. So we'll go back now to our report and we'll right click here and say add column after to add a new column to the report. Um, So now we've added a new column to our report and now we're going to put the conditional object in this uh, cell uh, of, of the report, actually this cell over here, this is the details section. So let's pause now and pick this up in the next video. So we're continuing our discussion now of how to implement uh, conditional objects in a layout table report. So now we'd like to put a conditional object over here, so let's double click on this uh, cell we're going to choose static HTML because the static HTML is how the um, uh, conditional object is implemented and don't be um, misled by the term static uh, in static HTML because you can insert um, 
field values from the current record in the static HTML. So let's open up the static HTML editor and now we can start editing our static HTML and what we'd like to do is uh, insert a condition. So the condition that we'd like to insert would be if and then here's our if statement. Then we'd like to insert um, an else statement and then we'd like to insert an end if uh, command. So now we've got basically um, the structure of a logical condition. Now this of course could be as complex as you want. You could have as many if and else ifs etc. But our expression that we'd like to insert over there of course is, let's just delete what's there and go here and say uh, ship same. So uh, and then press OK. So here's our logical expression. If ship same then we would like to go here and print the billing address. So let's just type in say um, uh, show billing address and then since this is HTML if we want a line break we need to put in a BR but because it's HTML we can go and easily for example make that into a bold tag over there slash B and now we've got basically um, uh, a heading that will print out if uh, the ship same field is true now let's just take this value and move it over here and this type uh, type in say uh, shipping. So let's quickly go and preview this and see how it looks and then click OK and then uh, save this and then go into our preview. So you can see that we're already off to a good start here. This is true so we're showing the billing address. This is false so we're showing the shipping address. So let's go in now and carry on by putting in some the actual field values. So we'll double click over there and now what we would like to do over here is insert a field. So we'll go there and we'll say insert and we'll choose uh, billing address 1 and then we want a um, BR and now we want to insert uh, billing address 2. So we'll put in a BR and now we want to insert uh, we want to insert a uh, city followed by a space and then we want uh, state and then we want uh, the uh, zip code and uh, let's put in a uh, line break uh, we actually we don't need a line break over there so now when we preview it we're going to see the address for the billing address but we're also going to see the blank line if the billing address to field is blank so let's go ahead there and then save it and then go to preview so you can see there's um, our billing address shown over there um, and uh, on a particular row where the billing address is blank we've got um, a blank line there that we'd actually like to uh, suppress and then here's our shipping address you can see we haven't filled in any fields over there so let's go back to design mode let's actually make this uh, row a little bit higher so we can uh, see more of it um, and now let's go back into the editor and look at how we can actually use um, um, uh, command directives to uh, control the layout here. So if we click here for instructions we can see that there's actually in addition to the if, else if uh, and uh, end if commands there's also begin suppress blank lines and end suppress blank lines. So what I can do is I can go to this entire block over here and say um, uh, insert and then begin suppress blank lines and then go over there and then say end suppress blank lines and then let's just clean it up a little bit and uh, save it and then let's uh, pause now and pick this up in the next video. So we're continuing our discussion of conditional objects in a layout table report so let's now um, uh, save this and then preview our report and now we can see that uh, for any of the uh, address two fields that are blank as for example this this one over here that blank line there has been automatically suppressed. So now to complete the um, conditional object here we can just go here and insert the fields for the shipping address. So we'll go there and choose um, uh, ship address 1. Then on the next line we'll go there and choose uh, ship address 2. And then on the next line we'll insert uh, ship address city and state. So ship city, then a space, insert field uh, ship state 
and then insert field and then finally the uh, zip code over there now we want uh, BRs uh, on these lines and we also want to suppress uh, blank lines so we'll go there and we'll insert the uh, begin suppress blank and over here we'll go and we'll insert the uh, end suppress blank we'll just go ahead here and um, clean it up a little bit so you can see that um, the uh, power of the uh, static HTML object uh, is uh, is really amazing because you've got full control over the formatting of your um, fields because you can use um, HTML uh, markup including uh, CSS classes you can go and define CSS classes for example I could go and define a CSS class called say my class and then use that in my HTML markup so and then I can of course insert any fields that I want in the static HTML as well so the ability to use these command directives um, these if commands and the suppress blank line commands gives you all of the power of the conditional um, object in freeform reports and quite a bit more so what we've shown so far is how you can uh, define uh, conditional co uh, content at the individual cell level of a layout report but you can also specify conditional expressions for entire rows in a uh, layout report so um, if you highlight if you select the whole row so that um, um, you can now define conditions at the row level so now if we look at our properties pane over here if you're not seeing the properties pane yourself you can just go to the task list and uh, turn it on so if we look here we can see that we currently have the row selected and if we look now that uh, we can see that there's a property here called the row condition and if we were to open that up and define a logical expression over here uh, that logical expression would control whether the entire row is present or not so um, the ability to define conditional uh, content at both the cell level and the row level is an extremely powerful feature of uh, the uh, layout table report editor. Thank you very much for watching.